Uh, it's the first time that you're on the 200. Okay. So, I've already done the preliminaries. I've done the check to make sure that there's tyres had pressure in them, that there's plenty of oil in there, and the fluids are all fine. I did like my just double check, having changed all of that yesterday. So, Hayden? Yeah. All works. Oh, yeah. All works. All right. Real simple, mate. This is what we're going to do. Um, turn the ignition on and... No, not the button. No? No, the ignition. The ignition was on. Oh, it's, oh, it's already on. Okay. I turned it, it on. Green? Is it neutral? Yeah. Okay. I want you to still pull in the clutch. And the reason I want you to pull the clutch in is one of the things about this bike is that it's got a bad habit of being in gear and still telling you it's neutral. Oh. So to avoid that, any catastrophe, hold in the clutch to start the engine. Right. Now, if you gently start letting go of the clutch while it's in neutral, and I mean gently, is it pulling forward or anything? Nope. All right, then you actually are in neutral. Mm. One of the ways to check. All right. Okay, holding the clutch and just poke it down in one gear. Does it say first gear on your dash? Yeah. All right. Now. Unlike the 650, the bike isn't going to really be able to pull off on its own steam, under its own weight. So you may need to give it a bit of gas. So just see which how it all works out. Just try and work it out yourself. I'm trying to figure. I'm trying to figure out whether or not I'm in gear now. Okay. Because I went back up to neutral. Yeah, but watch. See, I go down, nothing okay. happens. Okay. Let the, okay. I want to uh, gently press down on the gear. Just hold it down, press it down, and then very gently, just start to let the clutch go, and you'll, you'll hear a clunk there. Oh, there. That's weird. I know. That's one of the other little things about this bike. Yeah. Well, because there is a gear indicator, so it'll tell you whether uh, on the bottom down here, yeah. not just the neutral. Yeah. So that's why I was like... The gear's already there. Can you see it? Yeah. It's right There's here. There's the gear indicator. Yeah, it does that. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's not much we can do about that. All right, so you're just walking it now. All right, give it a teeny bit of gas. Yep. Oh. Ah. Come on, you get used to it. Clutch in if you start feeling a bit. I was just getting used to the weight as I yeah, came around. Absolutely, get used to it. I need longer pants. <laughs> Yes, you do need longer pants. <laughs> well, they fit me when I'm standing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so. Just walk around. And if you feel confident enough, pick your feet up, put them on the pegs. Oh, yeah. See, it's not like the 650. It turns way quicker. Yes, it does. You're going to have to understand that. Different bikes, different styles, different uh. methods of riding. So give it a bit of gas and then sort of gently let the clutch out. See, much gentler. That was a really good takeoff. Ah. Just go around, do some figure eights. Just oh, I mean. Oh. No. Yeah, I forgot. Oh. I mean, uh, the throttle control is a bit touchy. Yeah, it is a little bit, and you're going to have to get used to that. Every bike has its own unique way of being ridden. Hmm. Every clutch point has a different bite. So you, every, every time you get on a bike for the first time, those are the things you're looking to do. Where does it bite? How much throttle do I give before it screams? You know? Hmm. So, yeah, just go right around. And when okay. you're ready, we'll go. We'll start kicking up gears if you're if you're up for it. But otherwise, I think it should be good. Uh -oh. <laughs> I went one too high. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Just go around in a circle. Just enjoy yourself a little bit, and then we'll start working on gears. And I was just practicing stopping. 
Okay. There we go. Did you get into second gear? Yep. Awesome. Honestly, that doesn't look like a bad motorcycle. It looks really good for me. I know. I agree. Feels good too. Yeah, probably feels a lot more forgiving and much more manageable than Chase. Yeah. Alright, down into first. Coasting, coasting, coasting. And stop. Ugh. I need to try and see if you can ride that bike as slow as you can ride it. Without putting your feet down. So take off gently. So go fast and then slow down and just see how far you can keep it. Clutching, clutching. Just let it coast. Then clutch out a little bit. Just to give you a bit of propulsion. Then clutch Oof. in. You kind of just, you're just aching it a little bit on them with the clutch. Mm -hmm. and then coast a bit. Ah, no, nope, I no. stopped. <laughs> there we go. It's a game that Dawn and Shay love playing. Yeah. <laughs> You're learning to feather the clutch. There's a bug on my winch. Okay, I'm gonna come back around. <sighs> clutch out just to give it a bit of oomph. I am. I'm good. I was okay. waiting until I needed to. Alright. Bit of oomph, give yourself a bit yep. of coasting. Yep. There you go, you're feathering the clutch now. You're getting it. Can I feather and turn? Or yes, is it can. just straight lines? No, feather and turn. Feather and turn. Alright, now take off from there. Fast as you can. Oh no. <laughs> right. We need those when you're doing that, throttle and then Like that. So we're gonna go yeah, so we're gonna go from fast to slow, back to fast, back to slow. No. Ugh, I know. It's alright. It's alright. It's a light bike. You'd be surprised how far you have to drop it to be able to drop it. And then feather the clutch, feather the clutch, feather. Just a little bit. Just to keep, make, keep, make sure you keep, keep, keep moving. You're doing great. Okay, accelerate a little bit and so you go around the corner. Oh, that was lovely. That was absolutely amazing. Oh. Oh, that, you lost it a little bit there. Yeah. All right, slow down and. Slow down. Oh no! It's all right. Trust me, you don't lose points. <laughs> you're just, you're learning. You just, you, you notice that you've got a lot more control over the bike. Then go at a walking pace. I'm trying to slow down. That's fine. You got brakes. Oh, I was using them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a lovely takeoff. What a professional job there. <laughs> Thanks. No, you're doing great, mate. Oh, I wasn't sarcastic. All right. Slow to a crawl. Feather the clutch. Yeah, combination, brake and all that. No. Oh. I left. Oh, your hand getting aching? Yeah, just a little. Okay, well, just go for a ride then, because you're going to start getting tired. All right, just ride around, get into second gear, maybe you can try and get into third gear. It's very easy to ride that bike. I am in third. All right, then just watch where you're going and have fun. Mm -hmm. Do a figure eight, come down the middle, and then go 
do the right turns around the opposite direction and all that. A figure eight. So yeah, like as in, come down here and then like using this. these two lamp posts, just figure eight between those lamp posts. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. There you go, you got it. It's like you're a natural. Ooh. Oh, whoa, whoa, what was that? Clutching, clutching, clutching. Oh, I see what it is. You were in too low a gear, weren't you? I was in third. Ah, you have to be in the right gear. Okay. So second for these? If you, if you hear the engine screaming, then you're in too low a gear. If you feel the engine lugging and you're bouncing, then you're in too low a gear. Sorry, too high a gear, sorry. Okay. Find the clutch, just in case. You can coast, but just do it intermittently. And you can make much wider figure eights. You don't have to go deep around it all. You can come out as far as me and then wheel your way back. Give wow. yourself a bit of fun. Oh, I thought the point of this was to try to do sharp turns. No, you can work on all of that later on. Right now, hmm. I want you confident with the clutch and the throttle and the gears. I want you to be able to go in a straight line and confidently enjoy yourself. You know, you, you're, we're doing just wide turnings and stuff like that and being in the right gear. We'll be working on figure eights and emergency stopping and all that fun stuff in two books. Ugh. The touchy it's, throttle. Yeah, it's a touchy throttle, so you'd be in a slightly higher gear then. So, if you don't do it in first gear, do it in second or third. I am in second. Right. Well, that's why I was just like, or when I come around the corners, I'm trying to ease off the gas a little. Mm -hmm. But then it's just like an immediate... <laughs> right. Okay, so where you are right now, I want... I think you've pretty much got that. So what we'd like to do is work on some takeoffs, the different types of takeoffs that you're going to be doing. I feel that you are at this point now where we can start working on power takeoffs. Instead of just walking the bike gently off, what we do is open the throttle, find the biting point in a clutch, open the throttle wider than normal than you would normally have done it. And then using the clutch to do more of a power takeoff. Do you if you understand what I mean, if you don't, I can demonstrate it. Yeah, I think you need to demonstrate. Okay. By neutral and, uh, okay, gently let out the clutch so that it doesn't, if it bites. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. Right. All right, so, this is what you've been doing. You, okay, let out a bit. Okay, you're in first gear, and right now, you've just been gently taking off like that, right? Mm -hmm. What I want you to do is get to a point where you do this. Well, okay. It's easy to do. I'll, I'll show you again. Come to a line. I find the biting point where the bike, where I can feel the bike is biting. And then I'm revving it really high. And then letting the clutch out. And then come to a brake. So you've got your gentle takeoffs, like that, and then you've got your power takeoffs, like this. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it just means more throttle, and which also means you can let the clutch out a little bit better, a little bit faster. All right, that's the fan. I was looking for it. Yeah, cooling the engine. All right, so. So do, it's just a series of takeoffs, so you're going to pull in the clutch, get it into first gear. You may have to let the clutch out a teeny bit just so it kicks into gear. Yeah, it says it's in. Alright, so find the biting point. Okay. All right. Open the revs a little bit. There you go. Practice that until you can do power takeoffs, because we're going to alternate soft takeoffs, stronger takeoffs, power takeoffs. So. <laughs> and that's the thing that's clutch control you don't want to pull a wheelie and that doesn't have traction control so be careful okay <laughs> find your biting point and then rev no oh that was lovely that was perfect what you're going to learn is no matter how much you rev the engine, as long as you've got clutch control, you can take the bike off 
as gently or as strong as you want it to be, even if you're even if you've got the throttle wide open. It's all clutch control. See? Ooh. It's alright. Well I didn't have enough bite. So I wasn't idling anywhere. Ooh, you're like, in the wrong Ooh. gear. You're in no. second? I was in first. Oh, okay. Mm. I just Then that's did... me then. <laughs> uh, I just never upshifted, I just came back around. Okay. That was great. Could have shifted faster, but I'm used to <laughs> my foot's natural position right now is on top of the gear and I'm like, oh, I need to be under it. I know. You it, these are things that you're gonna have to convert to muscle. But you're doing really well. Ooh, that was a ooh, ooh. When you get tired or, you know, the clutch hand is getting a bit aching, mm -hmm. then just go for a ride. There's no pressure. Just have I fun. think I just, I engine braked a little. I was like, ooh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Engine braking is... No. Uh, I think that's you getting a little bit fatigued. When I'm it becomes tired muscle, No, but your arm is. Mm -hmm. Or you're concentrating on where the clutch bites and everything. So, if I do this a little, does it make it easier? You tell me. A little. Yeah. Okay. Then you know just what to do. I just don't want to. Like a like if you're at a a red light or something and it goes green, yeah. like do you always give it a little gas before you start to do it? Yes. Or is it just natural? No, the light turns green. I find my biting point and then I open up the gas. Hmm. I feel like mine's opposite. I'm doing gas before I'm doing the biting point. Well, what will happen is there, it doesn't really make a difference because what will happen is as you learn, as you get better and better, the time between pulling the clutch or letting the clutch out and doing the gas will get smaller and smaller and then you won't even notice a difference. The light hmm. will go green, your engine will rev as you take off. So that was a perfect takeoff. No one would have judged you at any lights for that. <laughs> I'm not worried about getting judged. I'm just worried about making sure I'm getting off the line. Yeah. And even if you do stall, there's nothing embarrassing about it. It just happens. <laughs> you have to let the clutch out gently when you gear down. Mm. I just thought, all right. I didn't know if I was at too high of a speed. Yeah. No, you're right. You having fun? Oh, yeah. You enjoying this? Oh, go and have some fun. You can cross over into the other car park if you feel, if you want to play Expand Your Horizons a bit. But unfortunately, this is just circles of figure eights. <laughs> when, we, when we go to Camp Road, then we're, there's a nice long road that we can actually go around the trail. And then, like, maybe, like, the weekend after some of that, we'll go to um, where we work. There's, like, there's a huge roadway around there. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's not good. What's not good? <laughs> I slipped into second without clutching. I was like, oh. That's fine. It, it's not going to hurt the engine if it was a smooth transition. No, it was. I think I was in the right RPM range for it. Right. It's just that that slip, what's it called? The What you and Tom were talking about? The slip. Clutchless shifting. Yeah. Yeah. And you will get to a point where you will master the whole clutchless shifting thing. Ugh, I'm out of gear. There we go.